Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to overwinter your strawberry plants. So, most people make the mistake of potting the strawberries up the first year, seeing them all die back, and then they'll just compost them. But it's actually the second year where they produce the most strawberries. Now, you can extend the life to the third year, uh, but it decreases slightly. Uh, so people normally kind of get rid of them after two to three years. Uh, but I've also got a video on uh, dealing with the runners so you can propagate more strawberry plants uh, from the mother plant so in theory you shouldn't have to buy any plants after your initial investment so how do you do it so with a sharp pair of scissors or secateurs um, you've basically got all this foliage and right at the very center at the bottom you've got the crown and it's that crown you need to protect so with your secateurs or scissors you're just going to cut all this foliage back right at the bottom and that obviously can go in the compost heap get rid of that so then hopefully you're left with something that looks like that so there's the crown in the middle there and as I say that's what we need to protect So you've got a couple of options now, um, some people just like to take the top, say half an inch off the soil and put some more compost in there just to replenish it, some people might like to sprinkle some fertiliser on there. Um, I'll do this in the spring, so basically what I'll do now is just put a thick layer of straw and that gives it the protection it needs from the frost, it'll stay in the greenhouse as well, uh, so at the end of it you want to pop them in a shed or a greenhouse. Uh, because these crowns will go dormant so they'll basically go into hibernation for the winter we'll help it along with some straw and I'll show you that in a second and when the spring comes um, say sort of March time I'll just remove that layer of uh, straw add the compost and uh, some fertiliser then uh, probably put the straw back on a little bit or a thin layer just to keep the moisture in and uh, then that'll start to grow again so now uh, we're at the easiest part of the process in the final stage. We are literally covering this crown with a thick layer of straw or hair. Some people use grass clipping, but I find that if you put them on too thick, they could go a bit sludgy and uh, could actually rot the crown. So nice thick layer of dry straw. And we're pressing that down, being nice and firm. There we are, I'll keep it nice and warm and that's it, so nice and easy. I'm going to do the rest of them now and uh, this will go in the greenhouse over winter. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys, bye.